second rest day with the mom blowing in the background. And we even got, you remember? First rest day, we got our nice stative to get professional, but now we have our own camera crew yep. for the last week. High quality, but don't get used to it. It's only one day. I had something to say about uh, yesterday. In the beginning of the race, the peloton got split, you remember? Yes, I was second part. I was second part also, and everybody in the second part was a bit like, uh, I thought probably somebody not our else day. can fix it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Wout Pools was there also, and he said, when you throw a dice, it's not always a six you throw, eh? Yeah. And in the end, he wins the race. Campi, how was your rest day so far? Very good. I stayed off the bike, easy. I did some uh, yeah. whistle body, you know? A yeah. hot and a cold bot. Yeah. Five minutes hot, five minutes cold. You know, I went down with the bike, but I was too lazy to come up. So I took the ski lift. Nice experience. My day started with finding out that my Garmin was in my laundry bag. It got washed, but it still works. So, good quality Garmin. So a Garmin can survive washing machine. Fact of the day. Time trial tomorrow. Easy day. Rest day part number three. I was just wondering, uh, Jasper, or is it to be uh, the roomie of, uh, of Victor? You know, it is surprisingly well. Um, the main reason, we, to be fair, we are not used to sleep together. I think it's one of the first times we actually yeah, I think sleep it's together. The first time, yes. But it is. Uh, it, I, we actually both asked it, and um, I can only say it's uh, really positive. Does somebody of you snore during the night, or? I think one time I snored, or was it more than one time? No, Vic, no, maybe once or twice, but like uh, really not loud, so not uh, earplugs and it's fixed, so it's okay. When I'm very tired, I snore. So the entire week now. <laughs> <laughs> and about you, Victor, how is it to be a roomie of uh, Jasper? Well, it's going very well. We know each other quite a long time. Um, we're about the same age, um, and. We've never really slept together before, but it goes really, really good. Also, it's very nice. Um, sometimes there's a, a difference in the, the hour you want to go to bed. Uh, but Jasper really likes the fact that normally I go early to bed. So he motivates me to go early to bed because when he, he knows when I go early to bed, he feels the urge to also go to bed. So you look like the perfect uh, roomy couple. Correct. Indeed. Correct, correct. Do you have some, some routine together, like in, in the room? I don't know. You know what is the most important with a roommate? A roommate for me, you have to be able to speak and have fun, but you also have to be able to be in the same room and don't say something to each other for an hour without getting awkward. So that you each have yeah, your own yeah, space yeah. a bit. And I think this is a good combination. Because sometimes you have roommates and it's all nice guys, but some guys they have like... They need to be entertained or they want to speak all the time. <laughs> but you know, when you're 30 years of age, you also want a bit of your own space. It's not always easy to share a room. Um, but uh, with Victor, it goes very well. Uh, but, but I have to say, I do prefer, if you have a roommate that wants to be entertained all the time, like you say, I do prefer this over the roommate that it feels so awkward because there's nothing said yeah. and you feel like... Should I break the ice or, and then you try to break the ice, but it's not really breaking? If I have a roommate that doesn't speak, then I don't speak either. <laughs> <laughs> we have seen your uh, nice routine of uh, making a, a daily vlog. Is it something that maybe you want to, to keep maybe longer, even after the tour? We are planning to make a Tour de France uh, after, uh, <laughs> after, movie. after movie series <laughs> about the Tour Blues. Because when you come home after the tour, you always feel a bit, uh, I wouldn't say depressed, but it's like, um, how would I say, in the tour, uh, you, you, you get lift. I mean, you get like a time schedule day after day after day after day and like everything is planned, like your food is planned or your meals, your timing, your plan, everything is just planned. And then when you come home, you feel like, <sighs> and this we're going to vlog about. Yeah, I think a very interesting part to see because people don't, don't really see this part uh, about cycling 
I think it's also one of the hardest parts of cycling post post Grand Tour, the week post Grand Tour. Uh, but anyways, it will be difficult to keep on vlogging after the tour because even though we want it very bad, we won't be sleeping in the same room anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but we will call. Sure, sure. And what is the plan for uh, for the day today? We, you, you just had the lunch and uh, and now? Uh, you know, I uh, had uh, not such a good night of sleep. I was awake really early, sometimes it happens. So I plan on uh, doing a, an extra good nap in the afternoon and maybe watch a movie or something, but uh, not much actually. About the same thing, it's afternoon now. I'll go and have a quick check with the physio, massage afterwards and then some, uh, watch a, a, a series or a documentary and rest. That's what we do on a rest day. Are you looking forward to the the next next week of the Tour de France? It's going to be a hard one. You know, I always like when the second rest day is, is there because uh, at first you can be happy that you made it to the second rest day because yeah, it's already a long way in the race. It's like the second feat in the classic. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, from now on it's like Sunday it's over and it's Monday today. So like you literally can like count the week down. Um, which is nice because somewhere mid a Grand Tour it's always like you know you're like in this zone where it's you've done a long way already there's a long way to come you like lose the track of days and now it's like uh, easy to uh, yeah like like it's it's motivating to be in the last week actually yeah I think we can also say that the hardest part we've done the like the hardest mountain stage stage still has to come but the follow-up of hard stages was right before the rest day um, and then also I think it's you know it's tempting to think like we're close to the end but I always try to not let it slip into my mind I always have the feeling if if it's like a, a one week stage race uh, the last day Everybody is less sharp because they feel it's the last day. In, you would say maybe last day, let's go all in. But often you have the feeling last day, everybody is like, it's over already. You know, I also think uh, as a team, we are just uh, looking forward to uh, stage 18 and 19. Because I think if you want to win a stage with the team, that's where it's going to have to happen. Especially now that, uh, yeah, you know, Maxime had a crash a few days ago and uh, after his uh, Colombia, uh, yeah, nice performance. So um, if he doesn't recover well from his crash, then probably the next mountain stages are also not really chances to win a stage. So I think uh, 18 and 19, not having a sprinter, um, I think it's stages that could sue the breakaway. And I think um, that's where we have to aim for because I think Basically, all six of us can be in the right break and try and win the race there. Yeah, sure, indeed. We understood that you are the, the perfect uh, roomie, but if you can find some difference betu between uh, you, Jasper, and, and Victor, what would be the, the main difference between you? I am between a mature, mature grown-up man, and Victor, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> no, I think we are actually totally different. Yeah, yeah. Um, totally different in a lot of... Um, yeah, let's say I would never wear um, white shoes because the whole peloton wears white, white shoes. I and would yes. never <laughs> wear black shoes <laughs> unless if it's raining and storming and whatever. So I, I would use something that other riders are not using just because, because of the fact that I would be the only one. And Jasper is the guy that would say those guys should be banned out of the peloton. <laughs> Not only he would like to do the same thing as the other, but he would even ban guys <laughs> like me. So, Jasper, you are the guy not that original. Easy, easy. And that's, that's a very well, very well noted. <laughs> you know. So oh, now, we, now we have to split rooms. <laughs> Sometimes mainstream is okay, yeah. So, no, but about the shoes, for me it's a rule, uh, shoes have to be white. And socks also. Even I have black socks. Even in the race day, yeah? 
Cycling shoes, white. Cycling uh, socks, white. You know, in the past it was forbidden to write different colors. Hè? Did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who invented that Roger de Vlam? <laughs> I don't know. I once heard the story that you always had to wear white socks. And then in, in Paris, at the, up to the final stage, what is the plan? <laughs> to be fair, um, not much. I think we will have a nice team dinner. I heard some uh, details and I think it will be very interesting. And then honestly, like uh, that's also a difference between me and Victor. Victor, he would like to get pissed drunk probably. <laughs> that's not true. And me, I would like to go home because, and I'll tell you why, like, um, yeah, it's the first time I don't see my son for a month and uh, I'd like to go home Sunday evening and see my, uh, my son. And about you, Victor? I told Bye. you, pissed drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to have a, a nice evening with the team and uh, um, let's see what it gives. Um, and I'll just have a few beers, but not too much because I'm a grown up man. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Jesper, I wish you the best uh, nap of the Tour de France. Thank you, man. And uh, Victor, what can I wish you? A lot of beers in Paris. <laughs> and Victor only wank once this afternoon. <laughs>